C.S. Lewis famously wrote, We are fickle creatures and far too easily satisfied. What he was getting at was that God has promised us gifts of absolutely staggering and immeasurable value, and yet we seem content to fool around with things of far lesser value, as if it was the best we could do. In today's reading from Corinthians, St. Paul explores this in a little bit more depth and detail. He speaks about the things that we do to and with our bodies. He refers specifically to food and sex, but it can be broadened to so much else. And he begins with the strange statement, all things are lawful for me. In other words, there is nothing that is unclean or demeaning in and of itself. But then he goes on to issue some dire warnings about what we should and should not do in the realms of food and sex. And it seems like he's bringing up an inherent contradiction. But he actually isn't. What he is pointing out is that in all things, especially in those things that we can do to and with our bodies, we have access to divine gifts that are of such incredible value they defy our imaginations. But we're only going to get there if we do all things consciously, if we are aware of the gifts available to us and being given to us through what seem like the everyday activities of life. In other words, when we eat, let us eat unto the Lord. Let us give thanks. Let us revel in the gift of food that gives our bodies energy and nutrition and pleases our palates and realize what an incredible gift each and every bite is. Likewise, when we do anything else to or with our bodies, exercise, sexual activity, the list goes on and on. He doesn't say any of these things are unlawful. He simply says they must be done consciously. They must be done in full awareness of the presence of God's Holy Spirit and the incredible gifts that we are being given in and through these everyday things. And so, friends, that is the exhortation for this week. It is not to shun anything because it is unlawful or unclean, but rather to shun doing anything unconsciously. Do it all in full awareness of the giver and just how much you're being given in the everyday and mundane things of life.